Ciao friends, Beth with Thimblehooks and today I'm going to show you how to keep your chain from twisting. So let's get started. I'm going to use a little remnant of my Lily Sugar and Cream from when I made my ice cream cozy because so I have a little bit of it left. I'm going to show you how to do, how to keep it from getting twisted. If you make a really long chain and then you have to try to bring the two together, it can take you quite a while to figure out, okay, I'm pretty confident that this isn't twisted, but then you could come up with a twist and you'd be sad. So we're going to make a slip knot. You want to have a, a uh, relatively flat. Don't use one of the big puffy ergon ergonomic hooks. You want one that's flat because I will show you exactly why in just a second, why that part is really important. So let's just chain random number here. Three, four, five. Once I get to about six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, it's a nice long chain. So all we're going to do is start moving this down our hook, take the take the back end, and go through the first chain, the very first chain that you made. Slide it all up so it looks like looks like a C, looks like a circle. We're going to hold this one in place for the rest of our chaining. So you can chain away. You could chain enough to make a big old Mobius shawl. You can just chain away and it will not twist. You can be confident that there's no twist in this chain. And then at the point when you're done with your chaining, you just take this through, take your last chain through your first chain, and begin your rest of your pattern. Isn't that easy? Easy peasy. I told you it would be easy and fast. So there you go. No twist in your chain. I promise it will work every time. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you for supporting my small business. Please subscribe to Thimblehooks and stop back soon. Thanks. Bye.